Hi everyone! Today I'm sewing and sharing the Be Mine Cardigan by Ellie and Mac patterns. I've just made one change to the pattern. I've omitted the front and back neck bands and added my own bias tape instead. I've done this once before after I made the oversized T pattern from a woven fabric. I've left the links to both patterns in the description below. This is a really fun and easy way to create coordinating outfits in your closet. For the cardigan I'm making today, I used leftover fabric from this jumpsuit I made. Find the details for this jumpsuit in my other video and make it along with me too. Now it's time to create our customized cardigan. Let's get started. You will need two front pieces mirrored, one back piece on the fold, one back skirt cut on the fold, and two front skirts mirrored, two sleeves mirrored, and your bias tape. I'm using half inch double fold bias tape. I've cut a 21 inch square and I'm going to use my clear gridded ruler to cut this square in half from corner to corner at a 45 degree angle. Now I have two triangles. Now I'm going to place opposing ends of my triangles right sides together and pin. Now take it to your machine and sew this pinned edge with a quarter inch seam allowance. Now that I've sewn this edge, I'm going to open it up and take it to my ironing board and press this seam open. Now I'm going to use my ruler again and a fabric marker to mark two and a quarter inch strips starting with the bottom long edge of my triangle. I'm going to mark these two and a quarter inch portions all the way up to the top. I had a little bit of extra fabric at the top, which was less than two and a quarter inch. Go ahead and cut that off. Now flip it right side up and match up your two shorter opposing edges, right sides together. Now we're going to match up our marked lines on either side to make sure that they intersect a quarter inch from the edge. So if I measure a quarter inch from the edge, I can poke my needle through one line and the needle on the other side should poke through that intersecting line. Do this all the way down. Now that I've matched my lines a quarter inch from the edge and made sure that they intersected, I'm gonna take this to the machine and sew my pinned edge at a quarter inch seam allowance. Now that it's sewn, it's going to look like this and I'm going to press it open like I did the other seam. Now that it's pressed, I'm ready to cut. Cutting through one layer, I'm going to follow my traced lines from beginning to end. And now I'm going to take this long strip with my bias tape maker to the ironing board to press in the edges. I've fed the fabric through the bias tape maker. I'm going to pull this back slightly and iron in small increments from beginning to end. Now that I've ironed it all, I'm going to iron it again in half, just slightly inside of the other edge. So there's the tiniest lip of fabric over the other edge. Place your front pieces on top of your back piece, right sides together, and clip your shoulders. Now take it to your serger or sewing machine and sew your shoulders with a quarter inch seam allowance. Now that our shoulder is sewn, I've opened up my bodice right side up and I'm going to grab my sleeve piece and place them right sides together, matching my shoulder seams and my underarm seams and clip. Do this for both sleeves and then take it to your machine and serge or sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. After attaching the sleeves, match your side seams right sides together and pin, matching your underarm seam, the bottom of your bodice, all the way to the bottom of your sleeve. Sew or serge both side seams. To hem my sleeves, I'm going to fold them to the wrong side by about half an inch and clip in place. Using a zigzag stitch, a twin needle, or your cover stitch machine, Sew all around your sleeve hems, close to the inner raw edge. 
Now place your front skirt pieces on top of your back skirt piece, right sides together, and pin the short edges. Sew or serge the short edges. Front and back skirt pieces are attached. I'm going to hem the bottom. Folding up the bottom about a half an inch, I'm going to clip all the way around. Now take it to your machine and sew with your preferred stretch stitch. Now that I've hemmed the bottom of my skirt, I'm going to baste all along the top so that I can gather it to fit the bodice. I've pulled up my bobbin thread so I start sewing with some tails. And leave yourself some tails at the end as well. Now place the basted edge of your skirt to the bottom of your bodice, right sides together, matching center backs, side seams, and center fronts. And now pull your gathering stitches so that it's a perfect fit. Adjust your gathers from clip to clip to make sure they're evenly spaced. And clip the entire seam. Now take it to your machine and sew or serge. Open up your bias tape. Fold the short edge to the wrong side by about half an inch. And clip this folded edge to the right side of the bottom of your garment, right sides facing. Continue clipping all around the entire front of your garment. When you get to the end, snip off your bias tape a half inch past the hem. Open up your bias tape and fold it over again half an inch and clip. Now we're going to take it to our machine and sew along the nearest fold we made while ironing our bias tape from hem all around to the other hem. I've sewn the bias tape to the front of my garment. Now I'm going to fold my bias tape in half to the inside, sandwiching that seam and clipping all the way around. Now I'm ready to take it to my machine and edge stitch close to this inner fold the way around the entire garment. And then we're done with our cardigan. Thank you for watching this sew along. Make sure you subscribe so you always know when a new video is available. I'll see you next time.